everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so you all we're doing another fragrance tag today when i see fragrance tags that interest me or yeah that interest me i like to do them because it used to be a time on youtube where it was a lot of fragrance tags and now they are very few and far between. So I saw Lavishly Chi Chi. She started this fragrance tag called Solo Dolo. So I was like, what is this about? And it's when you choose one perfume from the brand. Well, let me rephrase that. You, ch you look through your collection and you see which perfumes you only have one of from one house of fragrance, from one fragrance house. So I was like, oh, I don't even know if I have enough to do that. And I have a desk full here, you all. So I'm going to try not to make this a super long video, but you know how it goes with me. But we're just going to get started. And then I thought it would be fun to count them at the end to see how many I actually have. So the first one here is Mac Candy Yum Yum. I was obsessed with this with the name and it's pink and I like, you know, I, I wanted the lipstick. I don't ever think I was able to get it or I never, or was I never bold enough to wear it? I don't think I ever got it and I regret it. I, is Candy Yum Yum still available? Cause I feel like it was limited edition and then they made it permanent. But I think this perfume is either discontinued or rumored to be discontinued. Y'all, I can't remember. And it's just a light, it's a fruity, musky, girly scent. If it, it's not really complex or anything, to me, it doesn't really smell like candy. It's just sweet and musky. And currently, right now, this is the only fragrance I have from MAC. Would I repurchase Candy Yum Yum? Probably not. I, you know, I need to put this in a project, use it up, because I don't ever think about it. And I bought MAC Turquatic way after this one, and it's already gone. So... MAC Candy Yum Yum is the only perfume I have from MAC at this time. I decided to bring the Rollerball of Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. This is the only fragrance I have from Balenciaga. I have this in a Rollerball and then the Fuller Bottle. This has been discontinued also. And this is a musky floral scent. But it's also got some like freshness to it also it's a unique fragrance uh, you either love it or you hate it and as i'm talking about this you all i forgot to bring two fragrances because i was like i don't want to bring they're discontinued but th these are discontinued that i'm, I'm talking about so i'm going to say it now because i'm not going to go get them i just got back from running errands and i had to go to the hospital so that's why i i, I had planned to say i'm going to come in and i'm going to put on makeup and film well it was either film without makeup or not film at all and so here we are <laughs> oh the two fragrances i didn't bring was um bora bora from liz claiborne it's a very heady tropical floral fragrance I, that's the only fragrance i have of liz claiborne and then i have a justin bieber fragrance the key that has been discontinued and it's a very shampooy musky fragrance also so i hope i remember those two when i'm counting you all okay next i have here this is rolling hold on this is al rehab choco musk so this is, I had to check you all. I was like, do I have another one from Al Rehab? But technically I don't because I finished up the other one I have. So this is the only one I have remaining in this uh, from Al Rehab. And this is a, it's a chocolatey musky fragrance. That what the name of it is what it smells like. I have been loving wearing this in this um, cool, cold weather we've been having. And yeah, Choco Musk. I would get that one again in a heartbeat. It's another one from Al Rehab I would get also. It's only two that I've tried. So will I want more? Who knows? But it's two for sure that I know will be 
automatic repurchases in my collection. Okay, y'all, I have another um, Middle Eastern fragrance. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see the name because I, I don't feel like doing the struggling with the name today. This is the only one I have from, and I just, I wasn't gonna short, but I'm gonna try it. Tarab Al Dahab. This is the only fragrance I have. It's a very, to me, unisex, coconut kind of cologne scent. I've worn it a couple of times. Um, it's not making me, really for Middle Eastern fragrances, it's not any more right now that I'm thinking I just have to try because it's not too much I'm trying to try when it comes to fragrances because I have so many. And a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances well, the ones that I've, I've noticed that tend to go viral are similar to other fragrances. So, I feel like I'm good for now. If something catches my eye, you know, I'll try it out. But for now, for this house, I'm good because I did not fall in love with this fragrance. What I noticed with me is when I fall in love with a fragrance from a house, I tend to keep trying more fragrances from the house. So I'm not in love with this as of yet. Maybe by next summer when I think I want to wear it again, I might love it and I might want to try more. But as of right now, I'm good. Okay, the only fragrance I have from uh, Ralph Lauren is Ro Beyond Romance. I finished up a one ounce of this. this. This reminds me of Ariana Grande's Ari. Fruitier, raspberry, marshmallowy, girly perfection in a bottle. So, yes. Now, does this, did this one make me want to try more from the house? I would say I looked at the, the intense version of this and I thought about it, but when I read reviews, it didn't get that many good reviews. I, well, it didn't get reviews that made me want to try it the way people were describing it. So it didn't make me want to blind buy it. So for now, I'm good with Ralph Lauren. It's nothing else. It was a fragrance that was discontinued I wanted to try. I can't even remember the name of it, y'all. But that would be the only one right now that's on my radar if I saw it or if, you know, something. What it, Tender Romance, that's what it was called. I would like to try that because I've heard so many people rave about it. But other than that, there's no other fragrance from Ralph Lauren that I'm interested in. Y'all... I am looking at some of these and I'm like, I have other fragrances from this. So I have an other fragrances from this same house. And so I put that one aside. This is the Vanille Eau de Toilette from Anthropology, The Out Reamer brand. This is a pretty vanilla, simple cotton candy scent. I love it. It hasn't made me want to purchase. I've looked at the other fragrances that I saw that that were available at Anthropology, um, because it's the only place I know where you can get this. Well, could I don't know if you can still get it from Anthropology, and none of them interested me. So as of right now, I'm good with Outreamer. This is the only one that interested me, and the only one currently that I would repurchase when I run out of it. Okay, I have this from Azaro. This is Wanted Girl. I haven't even smelled this in so long, you all, because I just will never forget. I was watching Tiff Benson, and she described this as the It Girl fragrance. And I just never fell in love with this. I mean, I smell it. It's nice. It's like warm powdery a sweet warm powdery kind of also kind of like a musky woody type of scent and it's nice but i just never think to to reach for it and since again i told you what i've noticed when i fall in love with this a fragrance from my house that's when i want to try more and more i didn't fall in love with it with this fragrance this is my first fragrance from Zaro and only because it's something in here I don't just love, but I need to just wear it more and just figure it out. Yeah, but it's something I don't love in here. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And that's why uh, it's all by its lonesome, solo dolo, azaro wanted girl. 
Okay, the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Hugo Boss Descent Private Accord. This is the only fragrance I have from Hugo Boss. And this is a citrusy, chocolatey, delicious, like cocoa powder type of scent. I love it. It is one that doesn't last very well. So I spray heavily and spray. I go to town when I wear this one. And I haven't worn this in a, in over a year. I need to wear it because I was going through it. And that's what happens. I was really going through it. This is one I love. And it's not one I just see all the time like I used to on fragrance net. So I was trying to slow it down some. But I do love it and I would repurchase it again as long as it's available. Okay, the next fragrance I have here is uh, from Kaizy Perfumes. And this is, Del Del why can I say this? Delizia D de Marshmallow. And this is a newer fragrance to my collection. I have been wearing this for the past week. And it's something about this one. Smelling it from, the, from here, I can't really smell anything. But when I spray it on, it smells divine. I am enjoying this one. Does it make me want to try other fragrances from the house? Not yet. Not yet. Because I'm telling y'all, I'm trying to be very particular because I also have to review fragrances and the new the new items the new products that come out so I have to I can't just always want to be going and getting some old you know because I just have too much so I, I want to be more particular this is the one I heard about forever this is the one that was out of stock forever that was on my list so I'm content right now I am content <laughs> with Delizia D de Marshmallow. I'm very content and I don't want to look at any more Kaizy perfumes as of yet. But I love this one so much. I'm not going to say love it yet. I'm enjoying this one so much because this is my first week really wearing it that I, I'm enjoying it so I can see myself looking for more fragrance at more fragrances from this house in, in the future, but not just immediately. Okay, I have this uh, fragrance from, uh, I think this is the brand Lolia. I got this from Amazon after watching Chloe Yasmin. This smells good, but it reminds me of something else. It's like a honey, ginger, milky, creamy type of uh, tea fragrance that gets sweeter and sweeter on me when I wear it. This didn't make me want to go... Okay, I did look at the other fragrances that were available from Lolia, but nothing just stood out and grabbed me. So for now, I'm good with just this wish in my collection. Okay, this next fragrance is uh, Scent O2 Molecule. What is this? Eccentric O2 from Eccentric Molecules. I remember when I started my channel, and I'm going to spray this one too because I haven't sprayed this in years. Um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she was she doesn't make videos anymore. And she was saying how she would get so many compliments and people would run her down for, for this fragrance. But what I need to, what you have to remember with molecule fragrances, it's all about your body chemistry. So just because it, it was turning heads and, and breaking necks with people trying to smell her and get to her with this fragrance, it means it's going to do it for me. With, which, uh, that's with any fragrance, but especially with molecule fragrances. That just got in my mouth. It's something in here. Every time I smell it, I think celery. Every single time. Like, it doesn't smell bad. Like when I first put it up, I'm like, ooh, unisex summer, cool vibes. Like you get kind of cologne, but just unisex. And then the longer I smell it, I think celery. Celery water, to be specific. So because of that, and because I never pull this out, I never wear it. But I, it's always in the back of my mind, I need to really try it out. So... This is the reason why I have not purchased any more Molecule fragrances. Because that one, like when I wore it, 
I don't think I received a compliment, but I, that was during um, masking, the height of masking season. And um, I don't know. I plan to try that one out again, and then we shall see. We shall see because I just don't know about that one. Okay, this is Memo Centra. This is my first and only Memo fragrance. Whoo, this is the one that smells like love, don't be shy, but with a green freshness to it. And at first I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this, but I, I do like it. Now I have watched videos on other Centra fragrances trying to, to see what would interest me. And so far, I think it's one other one. I can't remember the name of it. It was, um, and I can't remember her name either. Oh my God, Demi Rawling. She loved that one. That's the only other one I'm interested in getting. Uh, but as, as far as me just getting a ton of Centra fra Memo fragrances, I don't think that's going to happen because I've watched so many videos and the way a lot of the fragrances are described aren't appealing to me. But that one, whichever one it is, I can't remember the name of it. But that is the only other one I'm interested in. And we'll see if I end up getting it someday soon. This is the only fragrance I have from Calvin Klein. This is CK Into You. This is another one I've smelled in a long time. Let me spray it. Well, yeah, let me spray this one out. Let me use the other side. I'm going to be using all my tester strips. This is one Demi Rowling. I remember she did a video smell expensive on a budget or unique or smell niche on a budget. And this was one and it's okay. I don't love it. It smells like a nice citrus perfume. Well, fragrance because I think this could be unisex. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Again, this is one I don't tend to think of. But it is nice. It is nice. I don't love it. I would wear that in the summer. The next fragrance I'm going to talk about is Skylar's Vanilla Sky. Now, I have had other, well, I've had two other Skylar fragrances. One, I, it was Fall something. I can't remember the name of it. I couldn't do that when I gave that to my brother. Fall Vibes, maybe it was called. And then I had Boardwalk Delight, which I absolutely love. And this is one I like, but let me tell y'all something. These used to come in like clear, you know those bottles that uh, Dulce by Rosie Jane, that brand, those bottles, how they look. This is what Skylar's bottles used to look like. And I went through like two or three samples before they reformulated Vanilla Sky. And this is supposed to be better because the other one was the EDT and it is an EDP. But I always prefer that one. So when I got this one, I was disappointed. And so I don't tend to think to wear it or reach for it. And I honestly don't know. I, I don't know if I would repurchase this. It has to be, I'll have to see after I use it, would I want this again? Because right now I'm leaning towards no. Like it's not bad. It's a nice vanilla scent. But this one also might be like Vanilla Woods. And I will have to um, finish it out. And then I'll be like, oh, I would repurchase it. So we're going to see. I already know I'm going to repurchase Boardwalk Delight during the spring Sephora sale. So this won't be so low for long. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is from Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. I got this with my first perfume sampler. And I love this. This is the perfect beachy vanilla. I mean, I mean, no coconut, no no. Just when I think of beachy vanilla, I think of vanilla vibes. And this one shouldn't be so low for too for too too long because I really do want Juliet has a gun, the original, because I really do like those type of fragrances for when I just want to smell nice and clean. Just smell like a good smelling, clean person. Not perfumey per se, just like you just smell wonderful. So I think I'm going to get that one. We'll have to see when. This is my only uh, Nina Ricci fragrance. And this is, I can't ever remember his name. Lay Lay Extase Eau de Parfum. 
Rose Absolute. So this was supposed to be a dupe of Oud Satin Mood, I think, from MFK. And this is a nice fragrance. I only think I've only worn this once or twice because it's so strong. And I think the first time I wore it, I mixed it with <laughs> Lana We Trade Zora because I went to a comedy show at night. And y'all, I was about to take my own self out. So I, I need to wear this one again because I'm smelling it now. It does smell nice. Um, it's a very complex, deep, rose oud type of scent like you just you just don't need to overspray this at all not at all so i need to wear it again but it didn't make me it's not any other nina ricci fragrances that have caught my attention enough to make me re, re, make me want to purchase more so this is solo for now and i think it's going to be solo for a minute okay this next one is kenneth cole white i went through the midst of this and this reminds me, it puts me in the mindset of Tom Ford, Soleil Neige, one of those clean, powdery, um, a little bit sweet. It's, it's like, like just sweet, watery, musky type of scent this is. And I have not worn the perfume. I've, I finished the mist and then I just decided to get the perfume finally. And um, I haven't worn it yet, but I think Kenneth Cole is going to be she's going to be so low for a minute because it's not any other Kenneth Cole fragrance that has caught my attention, but this one. Okay. This next fragrance is Montal Vanilla Cake. So this one is so low because at first I was like, wow, I'm loving this. And I don't, I haven't worn it enough to say I'm, I don't like it anymore, but I don't think of it. And again, as I keep saying, I'm the type when I fall in love with the fragrance, I look for other fragrances in the line to see what else could I be missing. I have looked at Montal, other Montal fragrances, but it's nothing that made me want to purchase it. So this is it for now. Will that change one day? Who knows? Okay, this next fragrance is Pure Vanilla La Vanilla. This is one that I kept hearing Jasmine Bullard talk about, so I decided to get it. It is a nice, um, it kind of reminds me of more of a Madagascar vanilla. It's not really sweet, sweet. It's, it's kind of a deeper, semi-sweet vanilla scent. Some woodiness in there, very warm. So I do like this. I did look at other La Vanilla scents, and I could see myself getting more in the future. But again, nothing is calling my name. Because sometimes, you know, you just get that urge and you something you've been wanting and you say, I'm just going to go for it. I haven't had anything hit me like that yet. Not from La Vanilla. Okay, this next fragrance is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Gentle Fluidity Gold. So this is my only MFK fragrance in my collection. It is a deep kind of syrupy berry vanilla scent i do really like this um will this be my only mfk fragrance in my collection who knows it's nothing that's calling my name from my oh was it michael kors from uh mason francis kirk de Jean right now it's not one fragrance that has been released because i've tried samples i've looked at you know other ones the la rose or something it's called and it, this, after I got this one, I, it's nothing else that he's released thus far that has made me want to purchase it. So for now, I'm good. This is my only Jimmy Choo fragrance. This is Jimmy Choo, I Want Choo. I really do like this fragrance. It's a very perfumey, peachy vanilla scent, but... And there are other Jimmy Choo fragrances I have my eye on. Something that's new, a rose one. I want to try that one that everyone loves. Not the original Jimmy Choo. I, not the original. I tried that. I didn't like it. It's um, it's not illicit. What is it? It's something cherry. Jimmy Choo is the one in the red bottle. I cannot remember the name of anything. 
not in this packaging, the other Jimmy Choo packaging, because I only know of two packages for Jimmy Choo. This one and then the other. In like the, the short little bottle. Y'all, I can't remember. But so it, it's it's two that I'm interested in from Jimmy Choo. This is one I don't know if I would get again because I can't stand the way you have to hold this bottle to spray it. And it's not easy for me to spray this perfume. So I don't know. That, that gets on my nerves. Okay, this is my only, well, y'all know it's my only one. It's the Solo Dolo fragrance tag. This is Must Noir from Narciso Rodriguez for her. So I have it, I have other Narciso Rodriguez fragrances that I, well, one, I think it's Musk or Poudre. I think it's Poudre that I get so many mixed reviews. I've had people say that's marshmallow. I've heard people say it's it's powdery, which I'm cool with that. But then I hear people say, oh, it's just so old fashioned. It's just, you know, what how people go down that route, what it what that means. And I'm like, mmm. I don't know. But this one is a nice deep rose musk scent that I do enjoy. I remember a long time ago, I think I was late teens. That was when I first smelled, I don't know which version of Narciso Rodriguez, but I was like, uh, no. So I would, I need to go. I don't like going and smelling at perfumes and Macy's because I know I'm not getting ready to purchase them right then. But I need to go and smell some of these fragrances to see if, well, not now, but to see if I would want to purchase more of them. But right now I'm content with this one. Okay, this fragrance is, I can't remember the name of it, Diesel. I, is it just called Diesel? Wait a minute, y'all. I can't remember the name of this. But it's the Red Heart from Diesel. This is the only one I have. And I really haven't worn this one yet, but it's on my list too, honey. It smells, this reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret perfume. A little sweet, a little fruity, a little, just a little sexy. Yeah, it reminds me of a good Victoria's Secret perfume. So I I need to wear this. But yeah, this is the only one I have from Diesel. I was I did at one point want to get the Purple Heart because it was purple. But I haven't really worn this one to see if I love it. And I think when I read the notes, I wasn't thrilled with it. With the, the notes where I was like, I don't know. So I, I stuck with that one. And I'm happy for now. Okay, this is Guest by Marciano. This is only the second guest perfume I've ever had in my life. The first one was when I was a teenager. I didn't finish that one. I ended up giving it to my cousin because she kept begging for it. And then this is one. Y'all, I don't know about this perfume. This is another one I'm going to have to wear. Um, but it's a reason why I don't have a lot of guest perfumes. If I, I should have known. If I wasn't loving that guest perfume as a teenager, may, I, I don't know. I need to wear this and see because I have never really worn this out. I've tried this on at home, but you know, I've never just done a full wear test of this one. So I need to, but I, mm, this is not making me want to try more guest perfumes at all. So we'll leave that there. Okay, this is Pepe Jeans London. At one point when I started... <laughs> My channel was watching all the all the fragrance videos. This was breaking the internet. This is like a coconut marshmallowy fragrance. It is nice. I have seen other uh, Peppy Jean fragrances and looked at them, but I was like, "Girl, you haven't even finished this one. And you, you know, you you don't use it and enough to to warrant. Let's go find something else from the line." So. For now, this is my only martini glass that I have in my collection, and I'm I'm fine with that. This is Eilish by Billie Eilish. I love this spicy type of fruity vanilla that dries down. That is so pretty to me. Um, so this is my only Eilish perfume. I am I smell the black one. 
I, I don't know what it's called. Eilish 2 or something, but it's in the black bottle shape just like this. I did not like it at all. The red bottle, I read the notes and I don't, I, I, I wasn't interested in it at all. Now, the next time I decide to go and smell fragrances at, at Ulta, I will smell it. But I feel like that um, uh, Miss Billy right here going to be solo for a long, long time uh, based off of these fragrances that's been coming out after that one. Okay, this is Dama Bianca by uh, Zerzhov. So this is the only Zerzhov fragrance I have. This is, these, you know, Zerzhov fragrances are niche. They're very expensive. This is a powdery, to me, vintage-smelling vanilla scent. This is one, sometimes I wear it, I'm, I'm in love with it. Sometimes I wear it, I go, really, this is it? I don't know, it just depends on my mood but it's, it's a cult favorite, Donna Bianca is. And that's why I thought it was the safest purchase for me. Now, will I get more from Zerzhov, especially the Cosmorati line? I think I will at some point. But right now, I'm good because I don't feel like paying that much money for fragrances like, like Lyra. I would want that in my collection one day after using the sample. But I have other fragrances that's similar so i'm gonna wait i have um do du a dupe of another zerja fragrance so i just feel like dama dama bianca she she gonna be by herself for a minute okay this is escapade gourmand i'm in love with this fragrance but guess what Ooh, it's a sweet fluffy perfect vanilla it's just perfect. If you like the frou frou, la la, fluffy type of vanilla, this is it. Now, I have not even looked to see what other fragrances this house has. I don't even know if they have more because I, you know, I paid. This is two fifty re, uh, retail price. I didn't. I, I found a discount code from somebody, but still, it was a pretty penny. And um, I don't know. I just was so content with this one. I haven't even looked. Now, on down the line, I'm sure I would have because, like, I love this. So I'm sure I would check eventually. But for right now, I'm, I'm cool with her being solo. Okay, this next fragrance is from Sud Pacific Vene Extreme. This is one. It just smells like your typical vanilla type of scent. I do like this, but it's something about, I think it's because these bottles don't wow me. The scent didn't wow me because I feel like this vanilla is very comparable to Vanille Soli notes. So I just was like, why am I paying, you know, this wasn't super expensive, but I got it off of fragrance net. So I don't know what it is retail, but it never made me, I think I, w I went to look at one other fragrance after hearing a YouTuber talk about it. But as you see, I didn't purchase it. So I think Sud Pacific for right now is going to be so low until this one is gone. And then I might try another one later on. This is my only perfume from Lolita. What is this called? Limpica brand, I think. And this is Lolita Land. Now, when I first got this, I loved it. But now smelling it is something that smells sour. I might need to let like, spray that out song because it's been a minute. I don't know. I'm going to have to wear this again because when I wore it, I remember really enjoying it. Oh, and in the air, it smells good. I don't know what it is about smelling from this bottle. So, but this, uh, the Limpica line has never been, is that the name of the line? I can't see behind here, clearly. But I think it is, it must be. I have never been tempted by many of those fragrances at all. I can count on one hand, it's been two. This one and the cherry one. And I just went with this one because I think people were saying it was like, um, orange sherbet or something and in the air it does it smells sweet creamy smooth a little citrusy so 
yeah, I'm really liking the way it smells in the air. So I, I'm still not tempted to buy another one. Buy another from that house right now at all. Okay, I also have this Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. This is one that is similar to Delina, but softer, um, less in your face. If, if Delina is too much for you, I heard it was a dupe. And I just wanted to test it out and try it. And I do want more from this line. I just haven't purchased them, you all. Well, I don't know why, but I do enjoy this fragrance. Okay, this is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. I have this is only one in my collection because I just finished uh, a, my other Jessica Simpson last year. This is just an OG perfect. I, I just love it. Caramel fragrance. It's nice. It's pretty. It's girly. I remember when I took it to work because somebody was asking me to bring in different fragrances and I brought this one in and everyone loved it. And it wasn't many that all, every woman liked. And this was one of them. Jessica Simpson's Fancy. Will she be solo for, by herself for a minute? I think so. Um, because like I said, I'm trying to move out more than what I bring in. Even though with reviewing, it's going to be hard. But we're going to see how I do. Especially with perfumes. Mist are different in my opinion because mist i use in a, a variety of different ways so i give myself a little leeway with that but with perfumes i'm just trying to limit especially how many i bring in okay this is vanilla musk from the mat i absolutely love this perfume i've been wanting the perfume since i had the perfume oil and I, I don't feel like I want any other fragrances from the matte because the amber, I like it. I don't love it. And they don't get good reviews. They don't have high ratings on Ulta. But this one, I believe, had four stars. And I love it. This is one I can spray all over. So even though I love this one, and I've said throughout this video, when I love a fragrance that makes me want to try more, as of right now, I'm good with the matte perfumes because the ones, this is my favorite scent. So unless they come out with something that tops this, I'm good. This is my only Clinique perfume. This is Clinique My Happy Cookies and Kisses. Y'all, I still haven't worn this perfume. Even though it smells better, it still doesn't smell like no cookies. Doesn't make me want to kiss nobody who's wearing this. Nothing. And <laughs> I have never loved Clinique fragrances. I know every, I remember listening to people's stories. And I'll ask them, like, what was your first perfume? And so many people would say Clinique Happy. I never wore it. it ne I never wanted to purchase it. I think because the packaging was so plain too, it just never appealed to me. Wasn't bad, but it didn't appeal to me. But this name appealed to me. So this is my first Clinique perfume, and I feel like it's going to be so low and then uh, banished <laughs> because I don't feel like this is going to make me want to purchase more Clinique fragrances. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, <laughs> this next fragrance is Yes I Am from, oh my goodness, from Casherelle. Why does it seem like this is coming apart? What in the world? So, y'all, this is the one that looks like a lipstick. I think I purchased this one also from that same video I was watching of Demi Rowling. For it must have been like designer fragrances that smell niche or something. And this is another one I just haven't worn and worn and worn. But I do like the way it smells. But since I haven't fallen in love with it, I have not been tempted to get another one of these at all. Because I don't know if I love it yet. And... As you can see, that's kind of my M.O. Okay, this next fragrance is Bianco Latte, the fragrance that took 2023 by storm. <sighs> this is Milky Caramel Heaven. But it's something about it that 
I, it's, it's just a little too much lactonicness, if that's a word, <laughs> for me. It's, it's just, it's a little too milky. I don't know still about this one. So, uh, so I have, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I have looked at other ones. Because it was some other fragrance that I was listening to a, a YouTube video. I was watching a YouTube video and they were like, oh yeah, this one's next on my list. And I went and looked at it and it was like a raspberry fragrance. But I was like, I got enough raspberry. I got enough raspberry right now. I need to use up some raspberry before I bring in another raspberry fragrance. So right now, uh, Bianco Latte is going to be solo uh, for a minute. For a minute because I just, I'm not in love with her yet. So the last fragrance we're going to talk about today is Coach Dreams Sunset. This is a perfume I... You know how you get in shopping moods and Ulta had a sale. I was like, wow, I just saw $39. Not thinking that I could get this same perfume in the big size from Fragrance Net for that same price. But I was like, wow, what a deal. Because it was one of the 21 Days of Beauty. So I just got it because I kept hearing Jasmine Buller. I think it was her loving this perfume. So I got it, smelled it. And it reminds me of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, Just Lighter. Just lighter, easier to wear. Like if, if good girl is too much for you, the original, then this is perfection. It's like, it's just an easier, lighter version to wear. So this perfume didn't make me want to go smell other coach perfumes. And this is not my first coach perfume ever anyway in my life, but it's been my first coach perfume in my collection for many, many years. And it's nothing bad. I love Coach fragrances. It's just this one in particular, I wouldn't say this makes me want to go smell more because this smells like good girl to me. I mean, exactly. It's not, it smells like an EDT version of good girl. That's what it smells like to me. So it didn't make me want to try more, but I do enjoy some Coach fragrances. So I'm not going to say, oh, I'm never going to get another Coach fragrance. But for now, this is solo, and it's going to be solo for a minute, unless something blows my mind. Okay, y'all, that was all of them. So let me count how many, and then we'll close it out, okay? So, y'all, including the two fragrances I forgot to bring, it's 39 total. And I, you, I wish y'all could have seen me when I got finished. I was like, seriously? It couldn't just be 40. I'm just like that no matter what. So that was 39 fragrances that I have only you know from one from the the brand the house the fragrance house and i did not realize i had that many oh y'all this is some people's whole collection and this is a lot of people's whole collection cut in half this would be a lot of people's three collections of <laughs> fragrance and it's mine just from one house alone so if you all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me some of your solo dolo fragrances. I would love to know. See how many you have in your collection, y'all. You know, I'm curious. And um, please share this video with everyone, you all, because we're trying to keep it growing. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye